A big thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. There's nothing quite like the joy of going on a mountain bike ride. Even though it takes a while to pedal your bike up to the top, once you get up the climb, it's time for freedom, the downhills. That is, until disaster strikes. You realize just a few turns in that your bike feels terrible, and it's not the brakes, not the tires, not your drivetrain, but in fact, your suspension. Just like you, we've all been in this situation and thought to ourselves, what can we do to get our suspension running the way it should? Well, here are my top five tips on how to make your suspension not feel like garbage. The first tip is the most obvious, but also the most overlooked by riders, and that is to keep your suspension clean. Oftentimes we forget that just like our drivetrain or the frame of our bike, our suspension is exposed to the elements and gets dirt and grime in places you don't want it to be. The number one place this happens is on your stanchions and you can see the little dirt marks or the oil that's built up on there, as well as on your seals. The best way to clean these up is just to take a clean towel and wipe them off after every ride. But to go to the next level and really keep your suspension running perfectly, Mike over at Mr. Loss introduced me to Fork Boost. This is a great product you just put on your stanchions of both your fork and your shock, cycle through a couple of times, and you'll see all the dirt that pulls out of your seals, as well as lubricate those seals to keep them working perfectly. My second tip is another obvious one, but one that most of us don't actually do enough, and that is to take our suspension in to get serviced. It's recommended that both your fork and your shock get serviced anywhere from 20 to 50 hours of riding. To put that into perspective, if you go on a two hour ride, that means every 10 to 20 times that you go riding, you should be taking your bike in or doing it at home and servicing your lower fork as well as doing an air can service on your rear shock. I found that going to a local bike shop is usually a safe bet because they'll have all the tools they need, can do it in a timely manner, and for just a couple of bucks, get your suspension running like new. Now tip number three after you've been taking care of your suspension and hopefully getting it serviced regularly is to make sure that your air pressure is set up for your weight. What you may not realize is just like your tires, air pressure leaks out of your suspension and you need to make sure it's at the level that is set up for your weight. Oftentimes people to jump to mess with their rebound, compression, or their volume reduced tokens, but really what they need to do is first make sure your PSI is on point so that your suspension is set up for your weight. Now tip number four, and this is where things start getting tricky, after you've set your PSI, then you can start dialing in your compression and your rebound. For some of you, this may be a new concept, but on almost all forks and rear shocks, you're gonna have two settings. Rebound, that's typically red and located on the bottom of the fork or somewhere on your shock, and blue, that is typically compression. Basically, compression has to do with how much force it takes to push your shock all the way down. You have low speed and high speed compression. And rebound has to do with how fast your suspension is going to grow back to its original length. The faster the rebound, the quicker it's going to come back. If you're new to dialing in your compression and rebound, I have three tips on how to get those things dialed. Number one, go to your local bike shop and ask them for advice and setup tips for your suspension. They work with bikes way more than you and I do combined, so it's good to get a professional opinion. Number two is to look at videos on YouTube from professionals, whether it be a bike shop or a professional rider, who has set up your specific suspension for them. Usually in someone talking about your fork, whether it be Fox, RockShox, DVO, or anything else, they can give you some tips and tricks on how to get things dialed. And the last thing you can use to get your suspension dialed is a computer like a ShockWiz. These connect to where you add air pressure to your suspension and they take tons of calculations of how your suspension is working as you go through your travel. Based on a couple of rides, it'll tell you what you could do to change your compression, your rebound, your air pressure, and even your volume reducers in order to get your fork to ride just like you want it to. The best part is it's not a one size fits all in these settings. It's set up to what you want in your suspension. And tip number five on how to get your suspension running perfectly is to then start adding or removing volume reducers. Volume reducers allow it so that your suspension can be more progressive or more linear. If you add more volume reducers, it's going to make your suspension ramp up. So the further it goes into the travel, the more it pushes back. By taking these away, it's gonna make your suspension feel more linear or more consistent throughout. I met a lot of people who think all they need is a bunch of progressiveness, other people who aren't sure why anybody would run linear, and I always encourage them, set up your fork to your weight, make sure you have your compression and rebound set to where you think you want it and what you think works for you, and then start messing with the reducers to get that ramp up that you need. Overall, these five tips have been transformational for me and helping me keep my suspension not only working perfectly for a ride or a couple, but year after year keeping my bike running exactly like I want it to. And when your suspension is taken care of, then you have way more fun when you're out on the trails. Now speaking of taking care of things that matter, 
Have you considered how you can better take care of yourself? Let's take a minute to talk about our sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. What you guys may not know is I've been a long time supporter of Dollar Shave Club. I heard about them years ago and loved the idea of not having to worry about replacing my razor heads. Now what may surprise you, like it did me, is that they actually have you covered for more than just shave products. Dollar Shave Club now covers all your shower needs, oral care, deodorants, and even butt wipes for after those really long rides. Trust me, your friends will thank me. Right now, they have a great offer where you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter kit, each for just five bucks. The shave starter set includes their executive razor and three one ounce tubes of their Dr. Carver shave products, prep scrub, shave butter, and post shave dew. Their shower starter set comes with three travel size versions of their amber lavender body cleanser, citrus and Hawaiian ginger face cleanser, and sage and black pepper shampoo. My hair has never smelled so delicious. And of course, my favorite product is their Oral Care Starter Set. Comes with a weighty toothbrush and a travel size version of their awesome toothpaste. I'm all about keeping these pearly whites nice and clean for the camera and to just look better on my bike. And the best part is all these products ship right to your door so you don't have to worry about running low on all the things you love. Now, go ahead and do yourself and me a favor and support the channel by heading over to dollarshaveclub.com slash dailymtb and you can get signed up for your very own $5 starter pack and find some of these great products that I've come to love. All right, that about wraps up our video. Thanks so much for watching and you know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy sit around talking about suspension and of course some daily hygiene products. But get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.